Here's the piece I'm gonna use. I actually used some rust converter, rust check here. That stuff, rust converter, rust check, rust converter. Anyway, I, I found that that stuff usually, this is the first time that it's actually turned the rust black. So it's, it's fairly black and then I ground out what I could. Usually that stuff I find does, it, you spray it on the rust and it looks exactly the same. It kind of, you can't, might not be able to tell, it kind of gave this uh, purpley kind of tinge. Uh, most of that was bare metal, so I guess that's what it does. It's just some sort of treatment. I don't know. I thought I'd just, there's some surface rust on this part, so I thought I'd just fix it. And I'm just going to replace the two sides here so I know where I I wanted to leave this center section in because it's not really rusted. And also, so I have a reference point here, so I cut halfway through each hole here. And that'll give it, that'll keep some strength in this. I don't want this to move at all when I'm welding it. This one's straight, so I gotta keep it all intact. This is what it looks like on the inside. So I did weld a patch over a rust hole, and then I decided after I sandblasted it that it was just, it was just too thin. Went through in a couple spots, I had to replace it. Anyway, they, they punched these holes out and they left all the, all these pieces that like the punch, center, center of the punches. So that's, that's what it looks like inside. So this is just getting really, see where I, I went through when I was sandblasting there, right there really thin too, too thin for my liking so uh the, i went ahead and show you the inside here that's what they look like i just cut the the bottom off of the one that was in the truck you can see how bent up it was there's no straightening that out can of see there other than that this one was pretty solid as far as rust goes but i didn't want to cut cut the posts right off and replace the whole bottom section because it'd be too hard to keep everything in line and since your fenders and everything bolt to this I wanted to keep this pretty straight this one's solid so it was just the bottom here and of course road spray and stuff gets up inside here and just sits there on this part it is primed and like they did paint in here but just a, a very minimal amount so of course it just eventually just rusts out so I'm gonna gonna just weld this in I think that I'm just gonna go right over everything like that I was gonna cut the pieces out in the side and try to kind of butt weld it but for what it is it's gonna add a little little more strength if I if I do a lap weld on this you can't see it I'll hide the, the weld joint right in, in here on this curve here so it won't even hardly be noticeable I was going to cut the pieces out, and, but who cares? Nobody's ever going to see this. It's all covered by the bumper. I just want it to be strong. So I'm going to go ahead and weld that in and then I can paint this up and I can start putting the truck back together. Here's where I'm at. Just stitching it together. So I'm just taking my time. It's not going to warp much because of the, I put it on that curve there. So I can get away with a little bit more heat going a little bit quicker. But I'm not gonna, I'm not, I just did kind of a lap weld too, so that's gonna help with warpage. And then when I sand that down, I grind all the welds, it'll, it'll kind of blend in with the curve and you won't really notice that it's been repaired. <laughs> but it doesn't really matter because of where it is on the truck. And it's also got a rubber flap that Christmas trees hold in here. This one's here. So it's all covered up, but I still want it to look decent anyways, so. Just gonna carry on, stitch it up. It's all primed and painted on the inside. Then I'm gonna put some rust proofing in there as well. I know it sounds like overkill, but if I'm gonna fix it, I might as well rust proof it up. And it should be good for many years to come. Here's where it ended up after the repair. So it's, you're gonna be able to see some of the weld here. If this was a finished panel, what I would do, like if this was something that was exposed, is fill probably all the way to this edge here, and then just block sand it down painted in and it would it would look just like uh, it would it'd be presentable same with this part you could just blend it right into that curve there but anyway because this isn't exposed it's nobody's gonna see it just, I'm just gonna leave it like that that's close enough see the weld on there so you're gonna see a little bit here it wasn't completely ground down flat but I don't want to grind right through it either I want on a strong weld because this is kind of a structural piece in the front end of the truck so anyways uh, the only reason why I repaired this I can create some content with with this project too but I just had these parts here so I might as well just use them use them up it's probably not really not worth repairing one of these when you look at what the price is online 
but this truck is I've got the parts to do it. I don't want to spend much on I don't want to buy a bunch more parts because I've got just about everything I need already just from parts trucks and stuff so I'm gonna do it as uh, you know with what I got work with what I got on this one anyway so I'm just gonna paint this up and then this is what's holding me back from finishing the rest of the truck this and then I just got to paint the one fender and then I can start putting it back together so that's always a good feeling to be installing stuff instead of taking stuff Hang it up. I'm just gonna use this little touch-up gun because it's not a very big part. And I'm gonna just give this a couple coats of some rust paint that I have left over. And it should be good. Doing some rust proofing now in the front rad support so this stuff here i'm using eastwood heavy duty anti-rust i got this stuff at a garage sale like years ago i have no idea what what the deal is it looks like it's like a wax type stuff i put some on this little piece of metal here but it's pretty thick i think because it's been sitting so long it's probably kind of starting to solidify and it's, it dries to kind of this waxy finish so uh probably not the safest thing but i warmed it up with a torch inside this oil container here it's smoking a little bit I'm trying to make sure i don't breathe any of the fumes i'm just going to try and dump this into the see yeah so it did it did make it liquid enough that it's going to pour i'm just going to dump that in there we go into these holes in the bottom of the core support so i know this is kind of overkill but you know if i'm going to do this I might as well, I've got, this, I've got the products here, I might as well <clears throat> get a good rust proof on it and do it properly. So I, uh, obviously this stuff will kind of be self-leveling. Get as much in there as I can. And then, has a little bit left. Then I'm just going to dump it right in up here because I don't think that there's any kind of a rust coating on the inside of the uprights on this. They don't rust out that bad, but it's pretty much just bare metal in there. So I'm still gonna heat some more up and dump it down there, try and get some of that coated up. And I'm just gonna tilt, take that out, this doesn't fall out. I'm just gonna tilt this back and forth and it's gonna be cooling pretty quickly. You can see it flowing in there. I mean, this stuff looks awful. <clears throat> but it doesn't matter what it looks like. Nobody's gonna see it if it works, but you, you know, you don't have to tell me what that looks like. Gravy, right? Okay, so it looks like it's gonna give a really nice rust-proof film, kind of a wax type stripping out here. Yep, there's some there. So I don't know, I don't know what this stuff, what it's all about. I think what it's for is spraying into, into areas where you can't get to, because it came with a Schultz gun, Schultz gun, whatever you wanna call it. So anyways, that's what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna actually put some undercoat on this. So once this stuff, once I'm done with this, waxy stuff I'm going to use some worth undercoat I'll show you how I do that here's what I'm using for undercoat <clears throat> it seems to be pretty good stuff it's like tar you need to spray it out of one of these shoots guns Schultz guns whatever you want to call it and I, I can't really do this with, with one hand I'll try and do it no nope, it's not gonna work anyway so it's nice to have the remote little wand to, to be able to direct the uh, you, you know you can put the, this wand <clears throat> into all your into all your cavities here like in here so I sprayed this a little bit it's this is already sprayed here this is wet with it, it takes a long time for this stuff to dry we're gonna be lifting it up put it close to a heater but it gives a pretty good film it's a waterproof film it stinks pretty bad I gotta go get my respirator on but I'm gonna coat this with uh, with that stuff and I'm also gonna do my fender
shop. I think I'm gonna leave this video at that. I'm working on getting my frame rail fixed here. Got the new piece. Gonna have just, it's gonna be easier just to replace that piece, modular frame, weld the new piece on, and then I'm ready to go back together. So that's gonna be, that's gonna go quick once I can start putting things back together again. So I'll just take this time to thank everybody for watching the video. Thank all my new subscribers. Like I say, the channel's still growing. Can't do it without you guys. I hope you enjoy the content. Like I say, the builds are going to get better. This may not be the most exciting one, like I say, but it's uh, it's going to be, I'm going to be doing some rust repair on the back wheel well. Hopefully you guys are going to learn some stuff from this build or at least get some entertainment value out of watching it. In any case, like, subscribe, share if you enjoy the videos. Uh, thank everybody. Welcome to my channel and stay tuned for the frame repair and the reassembly also going to be some body and paint repair on this truck too if you're interested continue to watch and you'll be able to see what we end what this thing ends up looking like at the end